much to learn and so much to see. Everybody come along with me. Reading with Paddle. Reading with Paddle. With the Boo Boo. Everybody loves reading with Adam. And we learn so much reading with Adam. Everyone has fun reading with Adam. But for everyone, reading with Adam is reading with Adam. Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Adam, how are you doing today? Well, I can slam. I feel very, very good today. Oh, that's good. It's good to feel good. So why do you feel so good today? Well, me and my friends in school all shared. Now, that's even better. You feel good because you did something good. You shared. What did you share? Well, today we were taking a test mm -hmm. and we shared the answers together. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, when you're taking a test, you're not supposed to share the answers. It's you know, people have another word for that. You know mm -hmm. what it is? Mm -hmm. It's called cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't share the answers. You're supposed to do the test alone, right? But, 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 we're, we're all friends. And sharing is caring. Uh, and sharing test answers is cheating. Okay, do you want me to tell your teacher? You want me to tell your teacher that you were sharing uh, the answers uh, to the uh, test? Uh, 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 no. Uh, why not? Since it was okay to... You know, because, just because this is between friends. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I think you know that you weren't supposed to be cheating on your test, and I think that you should take the test again. Mm. Yeah, you don't get any blessings, any baraka from, you know, cheating on your test, right? I mean, come on. You might pass this one test, but when it's time for you to take your big test, you might not be able to cheat, and then you might not be able to pass. Well, well, well. Do I have to? You know, I think it's a good idea because it's not really helping you. You know, we learn so that it can help us and others. You know, we learn to get smarter. We take tests to see how much we learn, you know, not to just pass. And if you are cheating on your test, then you are what they call defeating the purpose. That means that you are working against yourself. Well, I kind of understand, but I just can't see how sharing with my friends can be such a bad thing. Look, it's not like you were sharing a big container of apple juice or you were sharing a bag of oranges. You were sharing something that you weren't supposed to be sharing at that time. You know, if I help you cheat on a test, I'm making you weaker. Yeah. You know what? How about if we read a story together? You know, I was reading this story about the milkman, some guy, and he had all of this milk, and would he, you know, better yet, why don't we go read this with friends? Yeah, because if you tell me too much of the story now, then you'll cheat our friends from hearing the story themselves. You know what? I think you have a good point. Let's go. Everyone has fun reading with Adam, but for everyone, Reading with Adam, reading with Adam. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. All praise belongs to Allah, and may peace and blessings be upon the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I really, really like this next story. It's a little short, but it has so much good information in it. So this story is called The Milkman. It's called The Milkman. And this is a very interesting milkman. And he does something a little naughty. Do you want to know what it is, Adam? Mm, maybe. Maybe. You know, it has a little bit to do about what we were talking about earlier. And I think that it could mm, maybe help you out mm, a little. Hmm. Okay? Well, if you say so, I'm willing to give it a try. Alhamdulillah, he's willing to give it a try, so let's read it right now, okay? Okay, so this one is called The Milkman. The milkman used to walk in the market carrying a jar of milk to sell inside of the market. He was not satisfied 
with the little money he gained. He added water to the jar of milk to increase what was inside of it. Let's just stop right there. This guy, he was a milkman. He sold milk, right? And then, you know, he put some milk, but then he also put some gluk, 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 water. So people thought that they were buying milk only, but they were buying milk and water, right? And he was selling it for the same price as he sold the milk for. Adam, do you think that's okay? So the milk was not pure milk. It was milk mixed with water. Yeah. Well, Is that okay to sell them? Just mm, not tell them? He didn't tell them it was milk mixed with water. He just said, oh, milk, milk. Is this okay? Well, that's very dishonest because it will taste different. And the person who wants to maybe make have more milk left to sell to sell to more people. But this is not very honest. Yeah, very dishonest, right? Especially if you make my chocolate this way, it would not taste uh, good. Imagine, imagine, Adam, if you want to make some good, tasty chocolate milk, and mm. then you put some milk in there, it was white, but it was mostly water. And you said, this is not chocolate milk, this is chocolate water. That mm. would be kind of, and, and imagine, if you paid the price for milk, and he just gave you like, you know, a lot of water and a little milk. Kind of. Okay, well, let's just see what's going to happen okay. in the story. Okay? He added water to the jar to increase what was inside of it. He sold the cheated milk and nobody discovered his cheating. He gained a lot of money and he was very happy. The next day, he added more water to the milk until the jar was totally full. He wanted to get more and more money. Mm. He carried the jar and walked the streets to sell the cheated milk. The jar was very heavy. It fell down and all of the milk and water spilled to the ground. The milkman lost all of his milk and didn't even get the little money he used to get. He cried. He was sorry for what had happened, and he was sorry for what he did. He never cheated the people again after he hurt himself from the milk jar, and he had to spend days in the hospital. <gasps> he hurt himself. If you could see this picture, right? Look at him. He's sitting in the bed. Look at him. He's sitting there. He's hurt. He has something wrapped on his head in a jar. <laughs> Hit him in the head. Fell on the ground. No baraka. No blessing. Why do you think that was, Adam? How, how come he had no blessings in his trade? Well, because he tried to cheat people and he was not very honest. So Allah would not bless this. Yeah. Allah is not going to bless that. Even if he gets money, it's not really blessing. You know, but and this bad thing that happened to him, maybe it was really good because then after that, he promised never to do it again. You know, this reminds me of a true story because I don't know if the story is true or not. You know, they write these stories to teach us good lessons. But I know of a true story from the time of one of the righteous or the rightly guided uh, leaders of the Muslim world. His name was Omar. Yes. Uh, he was a sahaba of the Prophet, uh, radiallahu anhu. He was a sahaba. And what happened is, after Muhammad, peace be upon him, after he returned to Allah, um, we had uh, people who would take over and really just do the work as a leader. And Omar happened to be one of those leaders after Abu Bakr, radiallahu anhu. Well, in the time of Omar, Omar overheard a conversation. He overheard a conversation between a nice, righteous lady, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, and her mother, may Allah be pleased with her. The conversation was like this. Well, her mother suggested, let's, you know, they were, they, they were sellers of milk too, and her, and her mother said, let's put some water in the milk so that we can get more money, right, for less milk, right? And the daughter said, uh, you know, Omar, you know, he, he said, 
you know, he told us not to do these things and not to treat the people like this. And, 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 and she said, well, you know, Omar is, is not here. But he said, but then the other young lady, she said, the Lord of Omar is watching us. The Lord of Omar. Who is the Lord of Omar? Who knows? Who is the Lord of Omar? Allah. Yeah. And Allah, he's always watching us, right? He's always watching us. And he always knows what we're doing. So if we're like, if we have a test at school, and we're like, oh, wow, this question is hard. I don't know it. And then we say, no one's looking. I'm going to just get my book and find the answer. And then I take it, I just write the answer. I start writing from my book. And then you put it back in, and you put it back in the drawer, and then no one saw you cheat. And then on your, on your maybe you get a full mark on your test, and you're like, I got a full mark. <laughs> but Allah, he saw you because he sees all of us. And you know what? We also have two angels with us all the time. Did you know that? We have two angels. You never guess what they're doing. They're writing. They're writing everything we do and everything we say. Yes, they're writing everything of everybody. So we have to be careful not to cheat and to do the right thing because the Lord Allah is always watching us. What do you think about that, Adam? Hmm, it sounds like we should always do the right thing because there's always Allah watching over us. Yeah, yeah. Do any of you kids have anything to say about that? What, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea to cheat people? No, because, because sometimes sooner or later somebody's going to find out. Yeah. Like if someone has a, f a box full of candy and you take a few pieces, somebody's going to realize that some of the pieces were gone. Mm -hmm. gone. And then you can get in trouble, right? So Allah knows, but people can know too, and you can get in trouble here too in, on this, in this world, you know, as people find out that you were cheating, you know, right? And, Anybody and, else? And being caught is very, very embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, embarrassing. It makes you feel like, oh, I'm so silly. Right? Being mm -hmm. caught cheating is very, very embarrassing. So, you know, let, let us work hard and be honest. Okay? And maybe, just maybe, we can sing a song about it. Who wants to sing a song about it? Want to sing a song? Okay. Never, ever, 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 ever cheat, cheat, cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Never, ever, 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 never, 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 never cheat, cheat, cheat. Never, 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 cheat, cheat, cheat. Never, ever, 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 never, 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 cheat, cheat, cheat. You might cheat and think that you can get away with it, but you can't because Allah is always watching us. Now, we might cheat and think that it will give us a little more. But remember, angels are always writing in our book. So never, ever, never, 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 never cheat, cheat, cheat. No, 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 never, 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 never cheat, cheat, cheat. Never, 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 never cheat, cheat, cheat. Never, 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 never cheat. Cheat, cheat. Never cheat. You know, if we cheat, we might think that, you know, if we cheat on a test or we tell a lie or we take more than we are supposed to have, then that it's okay as long as no one finds out about it. But like it was said, you know, people could find out about it, you can get in big trouble, feel silly, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Or you know, Allah, he knows, and angels are always writing down everything that we do. So I encourage you all, never, ever cheat. Be honest. Allah loves that, and he will give you everything you need to have. Because really, everything that comes from Allah, everything we have comes from Allah. Uh, so remember, everything we have comes from Allah. And don't be scared. Sometimes we cheat because we're scared or we lie because we're scared. But remember, it's just a test from Allah maybe to see if you'll be honest 
and you never, ever, ever, ever cheat. Abdus Salam. Yes. And winners never cheat and cheaters never win. Mashallah, could you say that again? Uh, cheaters never win and winners never cheat. I like that. It reminds me of a song we could sing. We could say, winners never cheat and cheaters never win. Oh, mashallah, could you say it again? Winners never cheat and cheaters never win. No, oh, mashallah, let's say it again. Hey, I like that. This is so true. Winners never cheat and cheaters never win. On that note, let us all wave Assalamu alaikum to the kids at home. Assalamu alaikum. So much to see and so much to learn. Everybody want to take their turn. Reading with Adam. Reading with Adam. So much to learn and so much to see. Everybody come along with me. Reading with Adam. Reading with Adam. With Adam. With Adam. Everybody loves reading with Adam. So much reading with Adam. Everyone has fun reading with Adam. Fun for everyone reading with Adam. Reading with Adam.